looks great, Mom. Did you get the candles? 22 and one to grow on. I can't wait for Matt to get here. Why aren't you dressed yet? I'm gonna take a walk. Didn't you just do the treadmill? The doctor told me to exercise. He also told you not to overdo it. Yeah, no. You're putting too far apart. She won't be able to blow now. I'm moving out. Now, stop that. Oh, come on, Mom. This just isn't working. Your dad wants you here, and so do I. I'll have enough money as soon as the divorce is final. I already offered. She said you're the only one here who can cover her bald spot. Oh, I'm gonna be late again. My dad's gonna kill me. Come on, Sarah. You can have her in and out in no time. Ooh, look. Here they are. Oh, present? She'll love it. She'll love it, Matt. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hey, you boy. Oh, hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. I hope we're not late. You're not late. You're right on the dot. Thank you. Oh, so where's the birthday girl? <laughs> you know Sarah. She lives in her own time zone. Uh-huh. Don't start. She'll be here any minute. I'm gonna go watch the end of the game, okay? Okay. Let's take this off. Let's okay. do it. You do it? Okay. How was your last day? Actually, it was really nice. They uh, offered to double my salary if I'd stay, and my new boss called. Getting a company car. Terrific! Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. easy, easy. Hey. How you doing? Fine. Fine. Maddie! Guess what? I'm getting a company car and a corner office. What do you think of that? What do I think? Well, I think it's great. You know what I think. No, I don't. You never said a word about my new job. Oh, honey, come on. Grandma has a surprise for you in the kitchen. And Grandma needs you to carve the roast. Come on. I gotta get home. I'm having a very special dinner tonight. Oh, how come? Celebrate Aunt Lydia's new job. Are we having hot dogs? No. That's your favorite meal. Aunt Lydia likes my stew. Remember? And she also likes ice cream. The chocolate sauce? Yeah, tons of it. Oh, you okay? Did I scare you? No, I didn't mean to. <laughs> hey, Danielle, do you think you can talk to your sister for me? See if I can... She won't have nothing to do with me. You think I can... Such a loser, Danny. Now, Lydia finally figured it out. She wants you to stay away. So do I. Bye, Amy. Oh, my God, you guys. Happy birthday. Don't lose it. Hey, everybody look over here. Okay. Perfect. Give him a Thank you for coming. Martha, do you have a sitter for something? Yeah, I'm all set. Is uh, Ed watching the motel? No, he had to go to a funeral. I'm going to do it. Oh, give me a break, Martha. I think I can handle it for one night. Big honor. It's an important night for Dad. You can't count on Sarah. <laughs> you are something. 
Sarah wants to go to Dad's party, but she knows we're in a bind, so she offered to watch the motel. She's trying to be more responsible. She was late for her own birthday party. She had to work. Why are you always defending her? Why are you always attacking her? Come on, Lord. Okay. Let's go. Good night. Candlestick off my bureau. Hi, Amy. Hey. Hi. I quit. What do you mean you quit? I mean, my boss is kind of a jerk. He like made me work for my lunch hour and everything, so I quit. He couldn't just last through one day. You know, please don't get all peeved out, all right? It's not that big a deal. I just quit. It was a, a good job, Lydia. Yeah, well, not as good as my new one. What are you talking about? Well, today on my way home, I was walking by that new market, you know? And they're like looking for cashiers, so I met up with the manager and, and he thinks I got a pretty good chance. Honey, you can't just go jumping around from job to job. No, this job pays like 12 bucks an hour. Is that all right? Amy, how are you? We've got ice cream with chocolate sauce. We do. <laughs> Honey, why don't you go wash your hands? I saw Danny today. He followed me and Amy. He nearly scared us to death. Um, did he say something or what did he say? He wants you back. It didn't happen this time. It's not. And I'm not scared of him anymore, you know? said you might put us up for the night. He says that you sometimes help people out. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't have any money right now, but I'll pay you back. I promise. I've got money, Mommy. I can pay. Well, let's not worry about that now. First, let's get everyone to bed. Well, thank you so much. I promise I'll pay you back. That's <laughs> right. Right this way. I just follow the back here. Got a nice room for you. Hey, good morning.
morning. Hi. Good morning. When we got here late last night, and I'm wondering if you could do our room a little later. My little girl and my sister are still asleep. Oh, sure, that's not a problem. Oh, thank you very much. It's all right. Got the kid with her. I want her later. Well, I got nothing but time. for my nephew. I thought maybe the little girl would like them. Oh, cool. Thanks. Come on in. Do you cut hair? That's, that's like a tough job. Do you live here like all the time? I'm trying to save up money. Uh, I uh, got into some trouble with credit cards. Oh, well, max them out. <laughs> Good thing for my dad. He seems real nice. We'll consider it. Yeah, he is. He's uh, always doing things for other people. Always talking. Even now. What do you mean? Even now. I had a heart attack. Wow, sorry. I mean, you never know it if you looked at him. Yeah, yeah. friends in his family. Is, um, his dad died early on. Yeah, you know, I, I think he's afraid the same thing's gonna happen to him. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out again. You missed a spot here. You know, I learned my lesson this time. I did. I'm not going to screw up again. Promise. Good. That's good. Dad, I'm going to be done here in a second. Do you want to uh, play cards or something? Oh, maybe later. I got to take my walk now. Love you, Dad. I know that, honey. business. Let me tell you something. The only reason you want Lydia to stay away from me is so Daddy. you have a free babysitter. Daddy. And you know it. You listen. have a free babysitter. What? What do you want me to do? Not to for me. No, Don't. listen. She's telling her to stay out of it, all right? You're a grown up. Watch the kid, man. Come on. We're going to talk about this. Don't grow. Don't grow. Stay out of it. Don't talk about it ourselves alone. Oh. Lydia, don't go! Right. I know. Really making me angry. Oh, well, listen. I just want to have a chat with you. Business. That's what's going on. Why don't you leave before I call the police? So you're gonna call the police? Yes, okay. I'm gonna call the police. You want? You don't have to do this. It's all right, Mister. I'm. I'll be fine. Just don't call the police, please. Thank you. Are you all right? Sure, she's all right. It's just a lover's quarrel. That's all. It is. You don't have to. Leave. Did you get any sleep at all last night? Mm, a couple hours. Bored with the treadmill? Well, I'm doing this for Matt. He did it for all the girls, remember? I remember. I don't know, but he might have to wait a couple of years to use this. Oh, honey. You're healthier than you've ever been in your life. You're gonna dance at Matt's wedding. Better be with me. You guys, it came out great. We have to be ready by five. Did your 
remember to take your medicine? Yeah. Mom, does this look as bad as I think it does? Open the jacket. Oh, I must have gained 10 pounds. Yeah. Dad? Yeah, it looks fine, really. You're not even looking. Why do you do that? Do what? You know how important your opinion is to her. She's so touchy about everything I say. She has absolutely no self-confidence, John. Just because the girls are grown doesn't mean they don't need your approval. You look nice. Hi, Mrs. Porter. Hi, I just want to... Oh, I'm sorry, love. Hi. I just want to thank you so much for everything you and your husband. And I want to give you a, some money. It's just only part of what I owe. But um, I'm good for the rest. I just got a second job. Well, you pay when you can. Just take care of that little girl. I also want to give you my new address in Rockwater and my phone number at work. I mean, I would have given you my new home phone number, but it's not connected yet. I don't want you to think I'm skipping out on you. Hey, I want to thank you so much for the toys. I left them on the bed. You're welcome. You people have been so nice. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. You be good. Bye. There goes trouble. Where's your dad's boot near? Oh, God. Don't tell me you forgot it. I ordered it. I just forgot to pick it up. I'll be right back. Never mind. It doesn't matter. You're here. Actually, I was just leaving. Why well, aren't you supposed to watch the office? Yeah, I just uh, have to go get something, some cigarettes, and I'll be right back. I thought you quit. I did. I'll be back in a flash. She's just I don't even bother. All he said was that at 7 o'clock, he's gone. What do you want from me, man? I'm in my car busted. I'm not talking about your truck. It's not about your truck, man. I'm, all, all I'm saying is that we have to steal a car or something. Danny, you're on parole, man. Oh, great. So I'm, what I'm saying is that we we don't have a car. What about Frank? Uh, call Frank? Yeah, I call Frank. What do you think? What about Jesus? Talk to Jesus. Jesus is dead, man. I'm just saying in a couple of... Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Here, let me get that for you. What I'm saying is, in a couple of hours, in a couple of hours, we're going to be out. You don't want to go without, man. We don't want to go without. I'm cool. You know, I, I'm in such a hurry. I just, I gotta get home. My you know what? It's only like a couple Sarah, miles. Sarah, right? Not that yeah. Far. Um, hi, um, see, the thing is, we just need to go. It's just a little short way. Really you know what, you guys? Normally, I would. It's just my parents are waiting for me, and I... Dad, please. It's only a couple miles. You know. Can you just do this for us, please? Just this. Okay, please. okay. Bye. You guys going ahead. I'll stay here till Sarah shows up. Roger's right. Maybe she had car trouble. Uh, we can't keep him waiting. I don't think I need any more of these here. 
I'm so trouble. I'm so trouble. Now wait a minute. Don't you're gonna spill the joint. You're gonna spill it. Just stop it, okay? Look, I'm spilling it all over the place. Not now, okay? Not now. This award is long overdue. Oh, I think we should. No, like no, really. We have all been touched by your kindness at one time or another. Look at him. He's having the time of his life. Prince Charming. He barely knows that woman. You think they were best friends? Yeah, well, strangers have always been easier for him. You know that. Listen, I'm gonna sneak out and call the motel, see if Rogers had any calls. Mom, it's Sarah, for God's sake. She's fine. She, she probably just ran into some friends. Stop it. Rob, take this. What are you what are you doing? Look, you guys are just gonna have to get out here, okay? Um what? Hold this. I'm sorry, my um, my folks are waiting for me back home and I <laughs> you see? The thing is, all you gotta do is just drive us to the country. And then you just drive us right back. I mean, that's not that complicated, is it? Huh? Okay. Okay. Come on, quit playing possum. Been messing around. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Hey, man, I don't think she's breathing. I think she's dead. Oh, shut up! Don't say that, man. She's all right. Hey, hey! Come on. I hey, think wake she's up. Dead. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's get in. Wait. Let me get the ring. Let me. 
Come on, man, come on. All right, let's go. Is there anybody else that we can talk to? Anyone else from the beauty parlor? Okay, thank you. Please let us know if you hear from her. Don't you think we should call the police? No, Mom, you're getting yourself all upset over nothing. Your sister's been missing for five hours. Mom, she's fine. Call us when you hear from her. We have to go relieve a babysitter. Good night, Daddy. Uh -huh. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay, Mom. Maybe I, uh... Maybe I should drive around, see if I can spot her car. I'll go with you. I can't believe I have to start a new job tomorrow, and all I can do is think about her. She's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Nothing. I called the police. Why would you do that? They won't officially list her as missing until she's gone for 24 hours. I did talk to Ben Worrell. I gave him a description of the car, and I told him what Sarah was wearing. And he said he would do everything he can. on this car. Is there Sarah Porter in this vehicle? Yeah, I'm Sarah Porter. I'm Sarah Porter. It says here you're wearing a rust sweater and tan pants. You know what? I just changed, so... Also a ring. Heart shape. Yeah. It's a ring. Okay. Okay. Be sure to call your mom. Drive safe. Thanks. Uh, officer. Uh. <laughs> I'll get it. Yes? Thank God. Thank 
you. Uh, what is she doing driving around with two guys? Who, who are they? I don't know. Maybe they're friends. Maybe it's a boyfriend. Mom, Sarah doesn't have a boyfriend. Well, maybe she does. Maybe she just didn't tell us. Uh, what are they doing in the middle of nowhere at 2 o'clock in the morning? And why hasn't she called us? She obviously knows we're looking for her. The cops must have told her that. And besides, didn't the cops say that one of the guys was driving? Sarah never lets anyone behind the wheel of that car. She loves that car. Mom, this just doesn't make any sense. What are you saying? That wasn't your sister in the car? I don't know what I'm saying. I I'm just, I'm just thinking about that. Dad, what should we do? It's the middle of the night. There's nothing we can do right now. waiting for Ben to get to the station. Then Sandy and I are going to go see him. He'll help us. Honey, we're not even sure that we need help. Fine, John. Then you stay here. Just ignore what's going on. We both know how you do that. I'm sorry. She's in trouble, John. Natalie, I think you're overreacting to this. I think we just got to give her... You remember when she was little, in the second grade? I was out shopping, and I had this terrible feeling something had happened to her. I had to get to that school. And you remember? She'd fallen off the jungle gym and broken her arm. They've been trying to reach me. I have a sixth sense about Sarah John, you know that. I have to go to the police. Sarah wasn't in that car. I know it. Sandy, are you ready? Come on, let's go. First section of rock water. You're damn lucky there's anything left. Somebody parked it right next to a fire hydrant. Not too bright. There's a $90 impound fee, and then it's yours. He knows we're here. Yes, ma'am. Well, maybe we should come back another time. This is pretty busy. Okay, Walt, I'll let you know. Hello, ben. Thank you for seeing us. Do you remember my daughter, Sandy? Of course, Sandy. Nice to see you again. Natalie, as soon as I got your phone call, I got a report from the North Adams Precinct from an officer, George Colby. Now, he's the officer that pulled Sarah's car over, and everything seemed to be in order, so I'm not sure I see what the problem is here. We don't think that was Sarah in the car. 
She would have called home. It does make sense she'd be 50 miles from home in the middle of the night. Here's the file you asked for, Beth. Uh-huh. You know, Natalie, you're a good mom, and good moms have a tendency to worry about their daughters, even if they're just late from the mall by half an hour. She's not late. She's missing over 15 hours. This is not something Sarah would do. No, it's something she has done, Natalie. You remember that rock concert about two years ago? Was she gone uh, two days? This is different. She was just going to the florist. She was coming right back. Lieutenant. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll be right there. All right, look. Here's what I suggest you do. I think you should probably go home and stay by the phone because I'm sure she's going to be calling you. Ben, we need you. All right, all right. I'm on my way. I'm sorry, Natalie. Uh, can you excuse me? Ben, something's happened to her. I know it. You have to put out a missing persons report. I can't put out a missing persons report because Sarah's not missing. Sandy. Come on, Amy. You gotta go. I'm saving money to buy the house. Be gone. Oh. <laughs> well, I will contribute if you promise me. You'll paint my room pink. Thank you. Again. <laughs> hey, hey, Daniel. Can I get a beer? Shh. <laughs> you to go into your room. Now. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm tired. Hi, Amy. Jenny, I want you and your buddy to get out of my house right now. Yo, but this is my apartment too. Damn it, get out of my house right now, Danny. Get the hell out of my apartment. Damn it, shut up, shut up, me. Shut up. Would you stop it? Don't talk to my husband like that. What are you talking about? Hey. Last night we got married. That's this? Watch this stuff. Oh. God. I'm sorry, Danielle. God, you're so bad. Dad. No, this is it. Is that you, Martha? Yeah. Uh, is Mom or Dad there? No, uh, they're both gone. Uh, not sure where. Have you heard from Sarah? No, no. Okay, will you tell them that I call, please? I'll tell them. Thanks. Yeah. No, that's okay, man. I'm with it all the way. That's rocking. Yeah. Brother, okay. No, no, no. I'll get back to you. Just let me know. Cool. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Uh, Honolulu. Thursday. What? <laughs> you see, now that we're married, I know how to take care of my wife. Danny, how are you going to get the money if Honolulu? Don't you worry about the money. I got something worked out. What? We're in enough trouble already, don't you? Yeah. I don't think we're in trouble. As long as nobody says nothing to nobody. <laughs> Officer George Colby. I got his name from the Rockwater Police Station. Okay, then, then give me his home number. My daughter is missing. He identified her. No, you don't understand. We're sure that wasn't her. Please, I have to talk to Officer Colby. Please, can't you connect me to his home? Well, you're the police. You're supposed to help me. 
hang up with me. Where have you been? I've been worried sick. What? Lisa? They, uh, found Sarah's car abandoned in Rockwater. Oh, my God. There's no sign of Sarah. That florist is four miles from here. Four miles. In a shopping center. Full of people. I don't understand. I just don't understand. So what were the police saying? They don't believe us. They keep saying she's not missing. And the officer who supposedly saw her is off duty until tomorrow. So what are they going to do? Nothing. We'll find her ourselves. to the florist. He said she came in, paid for the boutonniere, and left. Was she with anyone? No. And I talked to her friends again, and they still haven't heard from her. Spotted puppy woke up first. He looked everywhere for his mother. For a minute, he was scared, but then he heard her bark, and he knew she was nearby. Lydia, I want to talk to you right now. Okay. Take your nap, my sweetie. I love you. In a while. Mm. 
What's going on? What the hell is this? Somebody's purse? Sarah Porter's purse. Found it in the dumpster outside. Got a prescription bottle, it's got a name all over it. Mm -mm. Tell me how it got in there. Who put it there, Lydia? All right. Sarah gave me this purse at the motel. All right, I, I don't know about that. There's a prescription inside, I don't know. And you just threw this purse away? Yeah, I don't like it very much, Danielle. I don't believe you. I believe what you want to believe. Lydia. What? You got to stop this. You got to stop this. You left him once before, and you can do it again. I'm going to help you. I'll be there for you, I promise. Hey, Lydia! Lydia, you up there? Yeah? You're way too smart for this. Hey. Hey, hey. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I, didn't, I just. I guess I just can't live like this. All right, I just. I just can't. Don't worry about me, all right? Now everything will be cool. I just think it'd be better. All right, come on, Dan. Let's go. Wait up. Alicia, please think. Is there anyone else? I mean, did you ever hear her talk about any other friends? Well, maybe. No, she wouldn't do that. Why? Do what? She had a boyfriend for a while. Chris. Who? Chris Prince. But that ended a long time ago. Who is he? I've never uh, heard of him. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Why? She knew you wouldn't like him. Porter. You know where she is? I have no idea where she is. Where she's missing. Sarah's missing. I'm sorry, but I haven't talked to her in over two years. We're, uh, we're looking for her. I would like to help, but like I said, I... are you okay? Mr. Porter, are you okay? <laughs> Okay. He's sedated now. What about you? I'm fine. I, uh, I want to get back in there. I spoke to Ed. He said he could stay at the motel tonight. Good. Here, I have to go because Matt's with a sitter. Where's Roger? On a business trip. Well, he tried to get out of it, but I couldn't. Well, what time are you going to be able to get here tomorrow? Mom, I started a brand new job today. This is family, Martha. Family comes first. No, Mom, Sarah comes first. She always has and she always will. Don't you dare start that again. Mom, this job is important to me. I have worked my whole life to get a job like this. More important than you, sister. Oh, that is so unfair, okay? I am always there, always. But I have responsibilities, too, and I'm not about to ignore them when I'm not even sure Sarah's in trouble. She's cried wolf before, Mom, too many times. Bye. Oh, Mom, come on. It's okay. It's okay.
wasn't another heart attack. But the doctor said it is a warning. You're pushing yourself too hard. Rest. Please. How the hell can I rest? I can't just stay here and do nothing. She's my daughter. I'm supposed to be there for her. I'm supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be there to protect her. I'm supposed to be there to keep her safe. I've been married to you for 30 years. And for 30 years, you've been waiting to die young because your father did. Well, you know what? Hasn't happened. And it's not going to. Now, you can push us away as hard as you want. We're not going anywhere. And neither are you. picture on the news as a, as a missing person. Betty, I'm confused. I thought you just said she wasn't missing. No, the police don't think she's missing, but we do. I don't get it. Is this some kind of sick joke? To be honest, you know, I've never really gotten your sense of humor. Excuse me. It's not about us, Pardon Eric. Me. This is about Sarah. Well, until the police list her as missing, then she's not missing, so there's nothing I can do about it. Eric, Sorry. Eric, got line two. Call on line two. Cosner. Yeah, hold on. Sandy, I know your family. You're getting yourself all hysterical over nothing. I've seen it before. Hell, I've lived it before. Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? I'm sorry I wasted your time. She said she didn't say nothing, but I just want to make sure. I just want to talk to her, you know? Hey, 
Hey, uh, could we order, please? What the hell are you two doing here? Service with a smile. <sighs> yeah, it leaves a little something to be desired, don't it? You better get the hell out of here. I'm gonna call the manager. Oh, why? What, we do something wrong? What did we do? We didn't do anything. You know, you think you got Lydia, Danny, but you don't. Jeez, Danielle. But how long has it been since you had it? Because <laughs> I can hook you up with my buddy here. Sure. I'll take care of it. All right. You do that. I'll take care of it. I don't know why I expected him to come through for me now. The nurse has promised to keep a close eye on your father. I feel helpless just sitting there. Mom, I, this might not be such a good idea. I think we'd be better off waiting at the motel instead of driving all the way to North Adams. Is at the motel. He'll get any call. Hi. I, um... I looked at my baby sleeping safely in his bed last night, and... Hmm. Well, one day on the job and I call him sick. I goes employee of the month. I'm so glad Daddy's okay. If I can just talk to them in person, I know they'll listen to me. We are not leaving that police station till I see Officer Colby. Mom, I, I, I want him to look at the flyer and then look me in the face and tell me that that was Sarah in that car Sunday. on the phone a dozen times. Kobe doesn't start his shift till 11. Well, maybe you could give me his home number or the address. I'll just go there. Look, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice. Back off. Back off? You're way out of line. Something has happened to my daughter. Your officer, Colby, is the only person who knows if Sarah was in that car. You won't let me talk to the only person who can help me and I'm out of line? Mom, um, why don't we go get a cup of coffee and a cup of... I'm not leaving this spot until I talk to that man. Hey, 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 hey. Don't eat these all. I haven't paid for them yet. Mommy, you forgot the chocolate chip cookie. No, you said you wanted donuts. I got my own money. Good for you. Come on. Chocolate chip cookies are next week. Here, grab the tomatoes. I can buy them. Good. I'm gonna go get some jam food. Just drink tomatoes. seem to like me. Maybe it's because they know how much I like them. Right, Amy? Maybe next time we'll get to go on a real horseback ride. Of course, that next time is up to your mommy. Okay. You 
It's okay. Mm. Okie dokie. It's okie dokie. Mr. Porter, I'm Dr. Greenwood. Your physician was called into surgery and asked me to take a look at you. When am I getting released? Well, I'm afraid that Dr. McPherson is going to have to make that call. What's the matter? Food in here getting you down? My daughter's missing. I want to find her. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I've got three daughters. Sarah's the youngest. I'm sure she's just fine. Kobe. You want to see me? Officer Kobe, I'm Natalie Porter. You stopped my daughter's car Sunday night. I know who you are. I got your messages. Please, take a look at this picture. Look closely, please. Tell me that's the girl in the car two nights ago. That's her. You hardly looked at it. Well, that's her. That's the girl I spoke to. You're 100% sure? 100% no. 95, you bet. You'll have to excuse me now. Did he make a fist or hey, did he strike? Oh, sure. Hey, George. Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. Excuse me. Officer um, Colby, please. Just one more look, please. That's her. That's the girl I spoke to. Cute, brown hair, blue eyes. My daughter has brown eyes. Just brown eyes. Oh, it was dark. She had that heart-shaped ring and that small tattoo on her hand. My daughter doesn't have a tattoo. Esther Lynn, yeah. I think you better listen to Mrs. Porter. Within five minutes' time, every precinct in this state will know who Sarah Porter is, and every officer will be looking for her. I want you to know that I'm sorry about this, Mrs. Porter. You're wasting time, officer. Find my daughter, then apologize. I have to go to the office, but I'll drop you guys off and catch up with you later. You better hurry. I need to make a stop first. Well, pull the remote and have them get down to the courthouse now. No, not in five minutes. Now! I need to talk to you, Eric. Not, not now. It'll only take a minute. This is the APB on Sarah. The North Adams Police Department has officially listed her as missing. Sandy, there's been a break in that molestation trial. There's also a small plane crash out on the highway. Now I'm up to my ass in all of this. Now I'm sorry about Sarah. I really am. It's just that... It's just that she's not important enough. Is that what you were going to say? She's not important enough to put on your news. This is my sister, Eric. She's part of my family. She was part of your family for five years, and she's in trouble, and you can help her. You can help us. Now I want you to put her picture on the news. I want you to do that for her. Because you owe her that. Where the hell have you been? What do you mean, where have I been? I told you I had to go see somebody. Danielle see? just called me from work an hour ago. She said that Rob tried huh. to take Amy. What is that, Danny? You know, if I wasn't here right now, she'd be trying to tell you that I was taking Amy, honey. You promised that you would not involve my sister in this. You promised me. I can't believe this. Listen, all your sister has to do is keep her nose out of our business. She don't know nothing. What? I just can't deal with it. Why don't we just leave or something? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna call the airline. Mm -hmm. Hook it up right now. 
call him now. We'll go tonight, all right? We'll leave tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. Yeah. I'm going to say this about my own sister. What? Uh, tell me. Where are they, Danielle? Tell me where they are. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Mom, you're exhausted. You need some rest. You're not going to be any good to anybody if you keep going at this pace. I'm fine. It's your father that needs rest. I hope he's sleeping. Storms in, then storms back out. I never said a word. What was her name? And what was the woman's name? Natalie, I, I don't remember her name. You have to remember. We'll be right there. Lydia? Did he answer me? He's not here. Where is she? She's out doing an errand. She'll be back in a while. What's this? Huh? What's this stuff? Well, we're leaving. Isn't that what you want us to do? You bastard. What'd you do to that girl, huh? You know what? Her picture's all over the TV, Danny. And they're gonna come looking for you. And they're gonna find you. I'm going to help him. Hey. Pretty girl. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Won't you be my pretty girl? Pretty girl, pretty girl. Just left with Amy, honey. 
Just send her a postcard. I'll be right there. Just hold on a second. Just gotta go through a couple things in the bag there. So we'll just wait for them to take off and then you and me and your mommy will go for a long ride. this on yourself, you know. Maybe he heard something good. Some lead. Doesn't make sense. He would have left a message. Excuse me, Mrs. Porter. I was just listening to the radio in my, in my car, and I heard about Sarah. Well, I saw her. Sarah, on Sunday, at, at Rockwater, in the shopping center. Yeah, she was with the, um, those people that stayed here, the, the ones whose house burned down, you, you know. Ed, the woman who called, was her name Lydia or Danielle? Danielle, that was it. Oh, uh, she gave me her address in the mid cash box. Who are you calling? The police. Sarah's since the motel. Well, they're lying, damn it. Of course they are, John, but they're not going to admit to anything that we can't prove. What about Lydia? Well, she's scared. I don't think she's said a word. She should be scared. You have to find out where Sarah is. We're making progress with the girl, Natalie. Let me talk to her. No, I don't think that'd be appropriate. Ben. Ben, let her try. Okay. I'll be waiting out here. I'm Martha Patterson. My whole family's waiting outside. 
Where is she? I don't know. Nothing. I mean, I don't know where she is. You know. Please. She's my sister. I'm sorry I can't help you. You have a sister, don't you? No, I don't got a sister, all right? Not after what she did. Maybe you didn't leave her any other choice. Maybe she did it because she didn't want you to get into worse trouble. Or maybe she did it because she loves you so much. She don't love me. She hates me. She thinks I'm a loser. That is not true, and you know that's not true. She's right. I called the police for one reason, but it is not because I hate you. I called the police because I love you. I was afraid Dan was going to take you away and I never see you again. Lydia, you are my family. You and Amy are all I've got. If you are in any kind of trouble, I'll do anything to help you. You know that, but you have got to help yourself first. You have got to help the porters because it is the right thing to do. In the end, you always do the right thing. Always. Get an ambulance out there. It's on its way, sir. We will call you if we find anything at all. In the meantime, I'd like you to wait here. No. No more waiting. bad shape, but she's going to make it. She's suffering multiple fractures of the head and face, a few broken ribs, and some internal bleeding. I, I want to be with her. She's barely conscious. She may not know you're there. She'd know. Give us a few more minutes. John, I'm sorry. I am so sorry that I didn't believe you when you said she was missing. Oh, ben, there's no need for that. No one's blaming anyone. I am. I'm blaming myself. You guys are amazing. You did it. You stuck together and all by yourselves, you did it. She's under pretty deep. I wouldn't expect too much. Sarah? Honey?
Don't leave us, honey. Don't go away. We need you. Sarah, wake up, sweetie.